Have you ever experienced an end-of-line character in your life? Like when you are scripting something in Windows operating system and you are using that script in other operating systems like Linux and damn, why me? So if you want to learn more about this thing, let's watch this video. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel Get It Quickly and today we are going to learn a very important topic that we normally face at least once in a lifetime which is end of line characters problem, right? So let's see today's menu. We have like what is EOL and then we are going to go ahead and learn more stuff about EOL. Alright, so let's go to Notepad++ and learn first of all what is EOL. So EOL is basically end of line which is also known as new line or line ending. It is basically a special character or sequence of characters that signifies the end of a line of a text in a file or a string. It indicates to the system and text processing software where one line ends and the next line begins. All right. So basically, we have three types of EOL characters depending upon the operating systems. So for Windows, it is a carriage return followed by a line feed. So we can see like there is CRLF, which is more like a symbol of that EOL in Windows operating system. And it is also represented by backslash R backslash N. While for Unix and Linux, it is just a line feed, which is just and LF and it is represented by just a backslash N and for Mac operating system it is just a carriage return which is represented by CR or backslash R. Alright so we have covered what is EOL and the next thing we have is what is the significance of EOL in Notepad++. So the significance of EOL in Notepad++, first of all, we can see the EOL characters in Notepad++. So visibility is the first thing. And we can also change, we can convert one EOL to another EOL in Notepad++. And we can also set up the default EOL in Notepad++. So these all are the significance of EOL in Notepad++. So that's also been completed. And now we're going to go ahead and see how to make EOL visible in Notepad++. That's the basic question. And we're going to see like how we can display the EOL characters in Notepad++ and how we can change the EOL for different OS. All right, let's get started go back to notepad plus plus and we have this new one file and I just do have like a Verilog sample module and here what I can do is basically I'll show you how you can see the end of line character so at every end of line you do have the end of line character but right now you cannot see it but I'm going to give you a tip here on the bottom right of the Notepad++ editor. You can see right now the file, it does have Windows based EOL, which is CRLF. So the shortcut to see EOL characters, you just have to come here and click on this button. Show all characters. And if you just click on this button, it will show you CRLF at the end of every single line. So this is how you display the end of line character in Notepad++. And now we are going to switch to how we can change one EOL to different OS EOL. All right. So to do this, what I can do if I just click on here in add it and if I just go to the EOL conversion, I can see like three options. The one which is Windows CRLF. This is the current option we have right now. That's the reason it is disabled. And you can just change it to Unix LF. If you just click on this guy LF, it will automatically change at every single line from CRLF to LF. And again, if you go back here, you can see we do have this file unix based all right and we can just do the same thing if you want to have this macintosh just click here and then it will change to cr 
all right so this is also done we can change uh, any eol in notepad plus plus now what are the potential problems because of eol happened so i do have here this file so just let me disable this eol characters again and then we do have some you know theoretical session here like these are the problems that we can face like if you have some script in windows that are using windows eol and if you're using that script in unix then you might have one of these problems like file compatibility or uh, shell script execution or text processing tools like grab and awk they might you know see different eol character right and version control systems like git and of course display issues okay so let's mark our menu that was the last topic all right and last but not least i'm gonna give you one more thing which is more like a bonus here and that is like what if you want to change the end of line characters through control f so if you just press control f here and then if you type backslash r right because right now we do have this macintosh so if you just try to search backslash r just make sure like you change this search mode from normal to extended because that includes all these characters and if you try to count this guy it will say like 25 because we do have almost 25 you know characters if you can if you want to count it you can count it or if you just want to go next you can just go next here all right or if you do have this thing in windows back to windows crlf and then if you want to try this guy you should type backslash r backslash n and then you can count again it's 25 and then you can just search it so what i can do is like what if i want to change this guy from uh, backslash r backslash n to just backslash r so what happens if we do this right so for now you you see the type has not been changed but it replaced all backslash r backslash n if i do this now it is only backslash r so this is the bonus tip for you guys stay tuned for more videos and if you have any suggestions for any other topics or this video related topics please let me know in the comments section and please give a thumbs up to this video and also of course subscribe to my channel for more fun videos thank you for watching